Well, new at five, a stolen car led police on a high speed chase across multiple counties. It ended with a crash and six people arrested. 10 TV's Ashley Bernanson spent the day retracing the path of the chase. And Ashley, uh, you just got some new information in a few minutes ago, but after you tell us that, walk us through what happened here. Yolanda, exactly. We are just now learning from our sources at CPD that there are now two Kias that were stolen. First, it involves six teens that stole one Kia and then jumped into another, and that's when they led police on a chase. So I want to take you through. Here's a map to show you just how far the chase spanned. First, police got a call about shots fired outside of a drugstore called the Happy Druggist off of Carl Road just south of 161. Now, this all started with a crash in Newark. This all ended, excuse me, with a crash in Newark with several people shocked watching from the neighborhood. We were inside making breakfast and we heard sirens and grandma's like, well, that sounds like it's on the highway. I'm like, that's way too close. And then all of a sudden I hear it behind us and then cop car, cop car, cop car. Newark resident Shannon Roderick said the scene was so unbelievable, she took these drone photos above her dead end street. It's there where police say a pursuit involving multiple police departments ended with a crash. Inside the stolen black Kia were six teens. Police say the chase started after getting a call about shots fired at the Happy Druggist Pharmacy in Northeast Columbus. Within the last hour, 10 TV received ODOT video showing the pursuit on 161. And this security camera footage captured by resident Kim Sykes shows the Kia flying down the dead end road. When I got here, there, this place was crazy. I've never seen it like this before. Sykes says she was visiting her family when she pulled up to Burt Avenue and saw the entire street filled with officers from New Albany, Columbus, Newark, State Highway Patrol and undercover units freaked out really. I mean, it was kind of weird. Both Sykes and Roderick say they saw the crash vehicle and the juveniles trying to run away before they were caught by police. I've seen them handcuffing some young guy right here. And then we see him pulling kids, like kids from a car. That's just insane. And we couldn't believe it. Neighbors were truly stunned by the scene. Columbus police say they have taken that Kia in for investigation as they're still searching for the weapon. I just checked in with them a few minutes ago and they say no charges have been formally filed. Again, this is still under investigation. They say all six juveniles, though, have been arrested and they are not releasing those names just yet. I asked police if they believe they had any previous connection to all the other stolen Kias that we've been reporting and they said they do not know at this time. But Yolanda residents were very freaked out by this incident. No no doubt. All right. Thank you, Ashley.